USC showing eight in the box. Pritchard running for his life. Has the first down into the secondary. Inside the 20, inside the 15. And they'll mark him down at the 11-yard line. Jim Harbaugh says when he moves his feet, yep. he's better. He You're picks right. up 40 on that. Yeah, when Tavita Pritchard uses his feet in the pocket, he's at his best. Avoid the rush, a lot of pressure. And then right here, it's just be an athlete and run the green grass. But keep your head on a swivel because Taylor Mays is around there somewhere. Three. Gerhardt puts his head down. Touchdown, Stanford. Stanford. He only has one touchback in 30 kickoffs. This will be C.J. Gable from the four, looking for the wall. Check that, Johnson. He has some room. Breaks through into the secondary. Still on his feet. He may go. Cut from behind of the 24-yard line by Thaddeus Chase. Well, Rod, you talked about it. The touchback is a luxury, but Ronald Johnson is that big play back a wide receiver for USC and you can see keep it in the middle let everyone get their angles on their blocks and then it's just speed to try to take it as far as you possibly can but this is the answer right here if, you, if you're USC Stanford got up take to Gable the pass over the middle touchdown USC Damian Williams On second and two, Gerhardt gets his block, got the first down, still on his feet. He could go, needs one block. Gets it inside the five, down to the one-yard line. 40 yards on the run by Toby Gerhardt. We just got that saying that Toby Gerhardt is a self-described run finisher. Well, this is evidence that he knows what he's talking about. Look at the yards after contact. 231 pounds, he said to us yesterday. You don't go down in first contact. Continue to run, make a play, and finish the run. Well, did Stanford beat this drive, Ron? Well, I'll tell you what, second 40-yard gain for Stanford. Pritchard had one of them in the first quarter. That was a scramble. First and goal from the one. Kimball puts his head down. Does he get in? Touchdown, Stanford. in this opening half. Oregon State had the high against USC this year at 176. Here's C.J. Gable for USC on the kick. Sidestepping, and he's got room. Say goodbye to C.J. Gable. He found the blocks early and turned on the Jets. There's no substitute for speed and athleticism in the game of football. You can't take a breath against USC because of guys like C.J. Gable. You make a couple guys miss whether you're returning a punt or a kickoff. Two. Needs to get to the five for the first down. Johnson. As Pater touchdown, Stephon Johnson. We got to get it to 40 to 60 percent. This will be the final play of the third. Lucas still with the football. He's in trouble. And he's going to go down. This is going to be a big loss. Back to the 31-yard line. 
loss of 13 on the play. And that ends quarter number three. Only one. Again on the move. Gable, left side, has some running room. Inside the 20 yard line, finally knocked out of bounds, and they'll mark it. Actually, they're going to put him down at the 24 yard line. Pick up a 24 on the play. Right now, we talked about USC is starting to get it done up front, and when you have game breakers at the running back position, you keep pounding in it before long, that little trickle is going to become a flood, and that's what's starting to happen with USC. I think Steve Sarkeesian's doing a better job with his play calling. You have to throw it downfield to loosen them up and then go pound away again. I think that's a great example. You can see the defensive line of Stanford not being able to get off the blocks. Maybe a little winded at this point. On the ground again with Gable. Inside the five-yard line, down to the four. And Gable, nice run, and at the end, Bo McNally, you got to keep your head up and see what you're trying to hit. That's a high hurdle. That looks like uh, Lewis Johnson right there. Lewis was an 800. Oh, that's. <laughs> Couple of tight ends. Gable, touchdown, USC. Absolutely worn out. Yeah, it looked like Sean Weiser, the safety, got beat on the blitz, and then Michael Thomas missed the tackle. And now wide open to Havili. Inside the 20, inside the 10, touchdown, USC, 50 yards. The two roommates hook it up. Sanchez to Havili. Texas is just sitting there waiting, just continuing to win. Second and goal from the three. Touchdown, USC, Stephon Johnson. Well, now Alex Lucas comes back in. They're not kicking the field goal. This will be the final play. Looking, looking, throwing. Touchdown, Stanford. The final play of the game. All right, thanks so much. Well, Coach, what does it mean for you to move to 9-1 and one now with two weeks to go? Well, I don't know about that stuff. I know what, what happened tonight was uh, our guys went in the locker room, decided to go win a football game, and they came out and did it, you know. And they really, really determined to get it done at the line of scrimmage on both sides of the ball like we thought we could, and they really did that. And it was really great. It was a great comeback win. Explain that because you had 39 yards rushing in the first half, and you come out with 204, and then you shut them out. How, how did you make the switch? These guys these guys can do that, you know, and it, it was just kind of messed up in the first half. Well, they all knew, and we've been in this locker room before in a similar situation, and it's happened before. So they just called, they called on it and it got it done. Making night with the toe issue uh, any problem as you look to those last two games now nah, we've got a couple weeks we'll get them well I thought I thought uh, you know I thought Sark did a great job you know see Sarkeesian the offensive coaches to get this thing cranked up like they did it was a great great job of adjusting and figuring it out really proud of these guys all right Pete thanks all right sir.